All right, today I'm gonna to start wiring up the control pack. So this is your C160A connector. This plugs into there. So you got a couple extra wires here. This green wire runs to your fuel pump. My fuel pump already has a relay in the back. Right here, it's a leash relay. So I'm gonna pull that wire through and uh, connect it right there. Okay, so I pulled the black wire and the green wire. This is off the control pack by the fuse box. This is off the 160 connector. This goes to your fuel pump. That's my fuel pump relay, it's from Leash. It's probably a little bit overkill, but it'll be all right. So here's the connector I just made up. I'm gonna plug it right back in there. Okay, now back to this uh, 168 connector. You're gonna grab the wire that's labeled toggle and SMR, that's starter motor request. And this is your one for your uh, turning on the ECU. These here are for your upshift and downshift. I'm just gonna tie them off right now so I know I'm not messing with those. So I have my wires pulled through there where the factory ECU went and I gotta connect them over there at the column. So I'm gonna add a length of wires to these and then I'll show you which wires under the column to grab. Some people will say you're not supposed to butt connect things, everything should be soldered. There's another argument saying that the factory stuff is all butt connected and not soldered. Heating up the wire will cause it to get brittle and break. I would just say you do what you do. Do use a good uh, heat shrink though. So I have that, I'm gonna heat shrink that on and then uh, run the wires over to the column. Okay, I left myself plenty of extra wire just in case. So here are my two leads. My light blue is gonna go to the white and pink wire. And my green is gonna go to my red with a green stripe. Now I have some butt connectors that are larger on one side than the other. And that's gonna, what I'm gonna use to connect these two. This is uh, from the previous owner here. I'm gonna get rid of that. All right, I got my red and green attached to the green, my light blue attached to the white and pink. I left myself plenty of extra wire just in case. I can always tuck that back in the kick panel. And then uh, these wires over here will get cleaned up once I figure out the uh, wiring for the Holly dash. The car had a 6.86 dash in it when it was on Holly E5 before. I'm gonna plan on using that as a standalone this time.